All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Christian Prince will be with you today. And today we will have a, a new discussion about a new issue, which we, uh, some of us, we try to ignore, and we act as if it does not exist, which is about kidnapping. You know, in the last few years, we heard how many people have been kidnapped by ISIS, as an example. And ISIS, as many, they consider them as a terrorist organization, but the fact they are an Islamic state, it's a state. This is the original state of Islam. And it's part of the original state of Islam to kidnap people who you can either make money of them or to enslave them or to rape them or to torture them depend what your business but islamic states is not the only one who do kidnapping kidnapping is a very well known practice by even those who claim to be civil governments uh, but before today i speak about this topic I want to speak about a few issues or a few questions I receive about Islam. And actually, we will talk about Islam anyway. But I mean, those questions have nothing to do with my topic, but I need to answer them. You see, I notice that there is people who they have, um, I don't know, I mean, a human being is very easy to affect his mind. And uh, there is a weakness in the in the mind of a human being. And today I will give an example. I'm not going to show you the question which is given to me in, in, in Facebook. Uh, a person he sent me a question saying to me the following that Muslims they told him that the Prophet he advised that when you drink you drink sitting and he said well the the science science or scientific discovery that uh, drinking sitting is very healthy a lot better than drinking standing and he says how Muhammad he knew that you know, I answered him. I said, let us say for the sake of argument, Muhammad, he said so. And, I mean, what, so? Is that will make Muhammad for you a scientifically, uh, a scientific prophet, a scientific person? I mean, the guy, he said, the sun set in the murky water. The sun goes from A to B to, to bow down to Allah. Shaitan play with your anus. Shaitan sleep in your nose. Shaitan piss in your ears. Shaitan eat, you eat with your right hand. Let us say this time Muhammad was right. He's not wrong about this one. So we will forget about the stupid things he said, and this is the one will make him scientific or scientifically correct. A human being is really weird. Let us say this is true. Let us say Muhammad he said that. And what is exactly now what he should do? Should you convert to Islam? Human being, you know, have a mental issue. Nobody want to use his brain. In order to take Muhammad seriously about what he say, well, should everything he say should become accurate. Not some places he says stupid things, like as an example, why Allah created the stars? This is Quran. He created the star to show the shaitan in his ass. I mean, do you agree with that? Where are the stars located in the Quran? In the lowest heaven, only in the lowest heaven. What is the purpose of creating the stars in the Quran as decoration, as a guide for mankind and to shoot the shaitan in his ass? Which is very stupid because the major number of stars we don't see. So what decoration? What decoration? We don't see even 1% or even maybe 1 of billion percent of the stars, of the real number of the stars. So what decoration? And what guidance? Guidance for what? There's a few stars are used for guidance. What about the rest? The billions and the trillions of stars. So all the stupid things Muhammad, he said, is not enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a donkey. Yet Muhammad, he said, don't drink standing. That will make him scientifically correct for you. Guys, are you getting my point? Are we listening? What's wrong with the human being? All the stupid things this man he said now that will make you believe that he is a prophet Actually, even this one have nothing to do with science Muhammad he believed that if you drink standing you are drinking drinking like a like a, like a cat That's all 
<laughs> That's all. I mean, stupidity is amazing. If we go and read and search, let me find the hadith about the right thing. Sometime, sometime, sadly, I find a human being, he have a brain of a rat. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't want to insult people. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Why the prophet, he ordered the people to drink standing. Let us try to find the reason. Uh, first, I will search in the in English. Ah, I could not find it in English. Then we have to find it in Arabic. No problem. We search in Arabic. Give me a second. All right. <clears throat> I mean, this is Sunan al Durami, and the hadith is exist. Why we cannot find it in Arabic and English translation? Because they don't want to translate this hadith. It's funny. This is the book of Sunan al Durami. Okay. Why the Prophet, he said, don't drink standing. Read with me. Read with me. أخبرنا سعيد بن الربيع حدثنا شعبة عن أبي زياد الطحان قال سمعت أبو هريرة the father of cats he said this is a guy they call him Abu Huraira which means the father of cats why they call him father of cats because he have cat in the top of his head cat in his shoulder cat in his lap obviously he have a mental illness uh, عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم from the prophet Allah pray on him and salute him he said when he saw a man drinking standing, he said, The Prophet, he said, ah, Do you like to drink with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the cat? What does this have to do with the cat? The guy is just drinking standing. The man, he said, No. He said, So Muhammad claimed, that when you drink standing, shaitan he drink with you. Have nothing to do with health benefit, have nothing to do with science, have nothing to do with all the garbage they try to fool you with. So what is superstition suddenly became science. And the naive, you believe it. Because you are naive. Because you are uneducated, because you, you, you decided to be stupid. This man, everything he do is based on superstitions. He don't have anything to do with science. This guy, he is mentally ill. As an example, we mentioned before that before you enter the bathroom, you have to say a certain prayer. Okay, why? Somebody tell me why. Why we have to say a certain prayer before we enter the bathroom? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? Because if you enter the bathroom without seeing, you have to enter with certain foot and you have to say a prayer. What will happen if I enter the bathroom without saying, without entering with the right foot and saying the certain, uh, 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 a certain prayer? Shaitan will play with your anus. A Muslim, he will say to you, now this is science. Is it scientifically correct that if a person did not enter the bathroom with the, with the right foot or the left foot, depend what Muhammad he says, depend in the hadith, and you say a prayer, shaitan really will play with the anus with the person? Is that scientifically accurate or this is stupid? If we search right now, let us see. You see, I, was, I wasn't planning to speak about this topic, but I mean, those questions, they are really annoying. Really annoying. 
if you want to enter the bathroom you have to say this this prayer the prophet s a w which means allah pray on him and salute him on entering the bathroom you used to say allahumma min al khubthi wal khaba'ith may allah you know help me against the khubthi wal khaba'ith it means the genie who do bad things the shaitans allah seek if you do from the dev, from by you from the devil males and females male devil and male female devils i mean this is the guy who will teach you science muhammad teaching his followers that the, the shaitan he hide in your bathroom where we can find shaitan at home in the bathroom so now how a child will go to the bathroom imagine you have a muslim kid he is five or seven years old and you tell him shaitan is in the bathroom what will happen to this kid are we following this guy is the guy want to teach us science he himself is afraid to go to the bathroom to the point he make a prayer before enter the bathroom as if he enter in the cave of Alibaba. Allah, Allah protect me from the female genie and the from male genie in the bathroom. Allah, please, please. Like what the heck? Based on this, Muhammad never do excuse my language shit without praying to Allah and why because the genie male and female they are going to play with his anus this is the guy who will teach you science the Muslims they made an article saying why the prophet he order us hold on in the article here it's here hold on here Six Sunnah scientific benefit of drinking water. We answered the first one. It was about shaitan. What about the second one? Drink after by sitting. We, we saw that. But Muhammad, he used to drink standing too. Who said Muhammad don't drink standing? Muhammad always drinks standing. So if, if sitting is, is, is bad, I mean, if, if drinking standing is bad, why Muhammad he drinks standing? Do you see it? Is that a Sahih Hadith or this is a weak Hadith? It is Sahih. I mean, what we will do now? Huh? What we will do? Then the article continue. see the water before drinking we will have to see the water before drinking hold on muhammad he said the water is always pure and nothing make it impure since when muhammad he see the water before drinking what are you talking about do you remember muhammad taking a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period Here we go. It was said, O Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu from the well into which bodies of dogs and menstruation rags and garbage are thrown in. Muhammad taking shower in a, a little tiny water. It's a sewage full of dead uh, dogs and women blood from period and their rags. You see, in the old days, not like women, they can use something they buy from the pharmacy, you know, like disposable things. In the old days, women, they use rags for their period. So those rags, when they became so stinky to the point they cannot clean them, they throw them away. And where they throw them away? In this water. And when Muhammad, he takes his shower in that water, which have garbage. Actually, in the translation, it says garbage. The fact in Arabic does not say garbage. It says anetin which means the stinky. 
so Muhammad he drank water sitting that is an advice and this is a proven by science to be right but this has nothing to do with science Muhammad he believe if you drink standing shaitan is drinking with you this is Muhammad the prophet he ordered you to look at the water before you drink it how come he did not see the dead dogs and look what he said the water is always pure and it is not made impure by anything this is science we have dead dogs in the water and and, and this uh, this uh, you know this water is like six uh, uh, six foot or six arms to, uh, wide that's it i mean it's, it's a small it's like maybe three by three meters all of those things in this water muhammad they can shower in it Do you see it? Anyway. Well, as an example, the Muslim they made a they made an article. It says in the article that the Prophet he taught us the the, the mat the manner of health. He said when you sneeze or when you yawn sorry cover your mouth and scientists discover that this is a very very good scientifically accurate behavior because that will stop all the germs to come and fly from your mouth but this is not the reason for muhammad to teach his followers not to to put their hand in the front of their mouth muhammad he told them that if you if you yawn shaitan he will enter your mouth that's it and he will piss there he will he will pee he will he will jump inside your mouth what does this have to do with science let us see do you see it when one of you yawns he should try to restrain it with, uh, with the uh, help of his hand okay muslim they make scientific discovery about this they say this is science First, it's polite. Secondly, it stopped the germs from flying all over. But this is not the reason. Read the rest of it. <laughs> Guys, do you see what I'm, I'm showing you? Do you see why the reason? The Muslim, they make science of it. They will not show you the rest of the hadith that this, this is because shaitan will enter your mouth. So they fool you. And they cut the first part and they say the prophet he said do you know that the prophet said put your mouth over your uh, your hand over your mouth when you do yawn and do you know why people yawn who knows why people yawn who knows do you want to see the science of the prophet yawning is a from the shaitan shaitan make you yawn is that scientifically accurate? Is yawning from shaitan? Why yawning from shaitan? Hmm? Once. <sighs> See, you guys, you changed my topic. Look at the title of my video and look what I'm talking about now. Let us try to finish this first. Do you know that Allah, he likes those who do sneeze and he hates those who do yawning? Do you know that? Have you ever heard of a God like this? Read with me. The messenger of Allah, S-A-W, look how, look how big the S-A-W, it's getting bigger and bigger, said, the sneeze is from Allah. Sneezing is from Allah. I mean, this is science. This is science. This is not because you are sick. This is not because you have a you have, you have a flu. No, no. This is from Allah. Sneeze is from Allah. And yawn is from Shaitan. I was wondering all my life why I why is sneezing sometimes. It was from Allah. <laughs> At you. Once I open a chat room in Pal Talk. In the Islamic section, and I call it let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. The Muslim they reported me to Pal Talk to shut down my room. I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? This is what it says. 
Allah actually the hadith says Allah he loved those who sneeze read, read with me and indeed Allah love the sneeze and he dislike the yawning do you see it don't you want to make Allah happy at you Allah like lovely yes 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 please more 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 at you Allah is like oh yes like yes don't stop please more more and now I will I will make Allah unhappy oh, please stop don't do that don't do that please somebody switch the channel I don't want to listen to this he's yawning this is disgusting we have a God who he love sneezing and he hate yawning this is science so all the stupid things muhammad he said you stuck with the one say muhammad say the drink water is standing and we showed you it's about superstition too little brain nobody want to use his brain these days now one more question. Let us finish this. Well, this one we are done with it. So don't tell me, please, Muhammad. He taught science. Muhammad is the, the the village idiot who said every every stupid things you can imagine. Even Muhammad, he said that the reason you know, like you have you have to make a prayer before you have intercourse with your wife. Why? Because shaitan will rub himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife. This is the kingdom of Islam. Why Muslims don't make an article about this and say the first one who created kingdoms, it was Allah. You make a prayer, Allah will put his name around your penis and you will have a kingdom so shaitan, he cannot do your wife. What about the microwave? Do you know that the first microwave discovered it was the microwave of Allah? The hadith says, Muhammad said, not me, that if a Muslim, he wished to have a child, a baby in the heaven, he will have it and deliver it in one hour. Actually, if he saw in Arabic, mean less than 15 minutes, between 15 to 20 minutes. The first microwave, the Muslim, he will be pregnant and deliver it in less than 20 minutes. That is the fastest microwave ever. Let me see if I can get you the hadith in our in, in uh... here we go. When the believer wants a child in paradise, he will be conceived and born growing up in a short while according to his desire. But this is not really what the hadith is saying. Let us show you the other one. Hold on. You see the fast translation? It doesn't say that. It says. Do you see it in Arabic? The translation is false because they don't want to tell you how stupid it is. So you will, you will get a bread net. You are a, you are a Muslim in heaven now, and you want to have a baby. So what will happen? You will get a bread net. How a Muslim man will get a bread net? Who is going to have sex with him? And the, <coughs> and then he will de deliver it. Okay, you tell me how the Muslim man will deliver the baby. From where? From his anus? And then all of this will happen. It says short a while. This is false. This is false translation. In Arabic, it says fisa. The word sa today in Arabic of the language today is equal to 60 minutes. Sa in the time of Muhammad, it's equal to what is equal between 15 to 20 minutes. So in 15 to 20 minutes, you will have a baby and deliver it, and he will be a grown man. Have teeth and have hair, and maybe mustache. This is science. Here we go. This you see. This is the same hadith. Look, 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 look what happened when you change the translator. You see this website. There's many translator work in the same hadith. One of them. There's one of them who was deceiver. Try to hide what it says in Arabic, and the other one he is put it there. So look. The believer, when he desired to a child in paradise, he shall be carried in prison, born and complete, egging in his hour as he desire. Do you see it?
I mean, this is science. I'm sure Osama bin Laden, he cannot wait to go to heaven so he can give delivery to a baby. Maybe a Zarqawi will sleep with him. Let us finish this. Done with this hadith and this hadith. And this article, stupid article. All right. Another question. One of you, he sent me a question saying, the Muslim, they said that the Islam is spread not by the sword as many they claim. As an example, the biggest Islamic country in the world today is Indonesia. And Indonesia, Islam is spread in it, not by the sword. Hmm. I'm not really too much into uh, the Indonesian history, but as I know, as I read, that in certain time, a king from Indonesia, he was threatened by a kingdom. They will attack him, his enemies. And the Muslims are in the borders. And he learned, they advise him, if he convert to Islam, then the other kings, they will not dare to attack him because the Muslims will gang against him because now he's a Muslim. And this is how he converted to Islam. According to the article I read, I do not know. However, let us say that in Indonesia, Islam was not spread by the sword. That will not change that Muhammad, he spread Islam by the, by the sword. And just to show you how hypocrite they are, the one who made the article, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. They are the one who is saying that Islam in Indonesia did not spread by the, by the sword, right? Okay. The prophet fought and his companion fought with him. But fighting Islam is not an objective itself. Rather, it's only to pave the way, calling the people to Allah. They just admit it. <laughs> and to remove all the obstacles and prevent people from choosing the religion. So he, they, they just told you in the same article that in Islam, we don't spread Islam by the sword. And they are saying fighting the war is not the objective. The objective is to eliminate anyone who will refuse Islam. This is what it says in the front of your eyes. Do you see it? I mean, how stupid they are more than this. They just told us Islam is spread by the sword. So let us say, you convert to Islam without killing you, fighting you, you are welcome. You don't want to convert to Islam, we kill you. So attacking you is not the objective. The objective is to force you to convert to Islam. Do you see it? In the same article, and look what they are saying down. If the Muslims are able, read, read carefully. If the Muslims are able to achieve this without fighting, then this is what is required. <laughs> Do you see it? So they are saying it clearly that Islam is spread by the sword. If we achieve to make everybody convert to Islam by be, without attacking, then there is no need to attack. The problem that when we read, we don't read. You know what I mean? Somebody is asking me about a church of a name of a church. I don't I don't really know those churches, and I don't care what the church name is. Anyone believe stupid things, teach stupid things, same things is not in, in the Bible, I reject them and I dump them in the garbage. What is the name of the church? I don't care. So don't give me names, please. You examine it by yourself. Anyone teach that Allah is the same God of the Christian, he is a false Christian. Anyone he teach that Muhammad is from Abraham and he is, you know, like he is a prophet, he is a false teacher. Anyone teach that there's no trinity, he is a false Christian. Anyone who teach uh, 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 like a Mormon, Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, blah, 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 blah. I mean, there's tons of cults. Don't count for me. I'm not your consultant, my friend. I'm not expert with those churches. I don't even care for them. I speak for the truth, and this is what we care for. Don't go by a name of a church, because some churches, they have the same names of a church as you know, but they are different. Who care? Or oh, what about the churches? They agree that gay he can be a priest. I mean, what? Where do you get this from? 
<laughs> you know so don't go by a name because certain church it might be have a great history and then they, suddenly they have that they have an idiot bishop and he start making garbage doing poo poo so we cannot judge all this church the history of this church by this guy you know what i mean judge people from their fruits from their fruits you shall know them make your guidance the teaching of jesus not the teaching of christian prince everyone everyone is a tree by himself i might be a person who go to a church and then this suddenly this church they have a new priest and then this new priest he make poo, poo every day and maybe he child molester like muhammad so can we say all this church is garbage no Are we getting the point? There's many of them. They are perfectly correct. All right? How many people spat at the face of Jesus? You see, uh, Michael Asho, do you like to call me my friend to talk about it? Do you like to call me? Because I want to spat at your face too. Do you want me to do, to do that to you? Because your questions is very stupid. We have we have people who try to make stupid stories out of nothing. As an example, they say to you, one verse in the Bible says that David he have seven hundred wife. The other wife, the other the other verse says that something different. One verse says he have a, a house with the, uh, seventy rooms, and the other one it says different. That doesn't change anything. Yesterday I have a house. It was an apartment studio. Today I have a house. Should I live in the same house forever, the same size? Yesterday I have one wife. Today I have four. Muhammad, you have thirteen, but doesn't mean Muhammad, you have thirteen in one day. Somebody spat in the face of Jesus. A witness report that. Other witness he report something else because he saw more. He witnessed to more. Some of the people next to Jesus, they heard Jesus, the, 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 the Roman, they heard Jesus as if he is saying, Eli, Eli. And they thought he is saying, Elia, Elia. What's wrong with you? But because you are looking just for something, to make something out of it. They could not find anything against Jesus. So now they are worried about how many people they spat. We are talking about a guy, he cleaned himself between dogs and drags of a period. And he claimed that women of blood and dogs will not make the women the, 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 the water impure. And now this Muslim he is worried how many people they spat at Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they could not find something against us. So look look how silly they are. Anyway, if you don't have the courage to call me, just go. I have no time for, for a stupid talk. Focus with me in the topic we are talking about and don't ask silly questions. Now we go to the topic of our video, which is about kidnapping. <clears throat> Today in the news, a Saudi journalist actually he is not a journalist but they made him journalist somehow he is from a rich family from saudi arabia and he is originally a turkish person his name is jamal khashoggi this guy he entered into the saudi embassy yesterday and he never left and now everybody is accusing the Saudi to kidnap him. Now, is that possible? Absolutely. The funny that Erdogan is calling for investigation about this, but Erdogan, he forgot that he is the first to kidnap his enemy from everywhere. 
nobody kidnapped as much as Erdogan. As an example, as an example, I don't want to go before Erdogan. If we search, this is not long time ago. Erdogan long arm, the Turkish descendant kidnapped from Europe. Turkey has sentenced over 100 alleged members of Golan movement from other countries in recent years. We sat down with the wives of Kosovo-based man uh, currently. So in, anyway, he, this guy, they kidnapped him. They brought him. all those names you see in front of you. They've been kidnapped by the gang of Erdogan. So you think, you think you live in Europe. And you think that Erdogan cannot kidnap you. Erdogan is a mafia guy. He can. And the European, they will help him. How they help him? By giving Erdogan men a political, uh, 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 what they call it, uh, uh, diplomatic visa, you are giving them the chance to kidnap anyone. You see, when there is an embassy license blade, all what they need to do is to grab you from the street and push you inside their van and then the police themselves cannot stop you and they cannot investigate the van. That's it. You are gone. And then they put you inside the box and they, they put a stamp of the embassy and then they will ship you all the way to Turkey. And in Turkey, they will put you in the acid and you will disappear. So it's not true that kidnapping happened only by mafia who asked for ransom. Like Muhammad, Muhammad in his time, he asked for ransom. If we go in the Quran, Muhammad in the beginning, he enjoyed very much the ransom business. And then because his men, they like the ransom business. Let us see. Muhammad, he have to stop the ransom because he want to kill them now. He have too much money. He is afraid if we ransom them, they will get out. And they will seek justice. Here we go. Muhammad, when he kidnapped through many years, he always agreed to replace his prisoners who he kidnapped them by a lot of money. But then Muhammad, there is some kind of enemies. He is aware that if we release them, and his men, they like to release them because they want to get more money. And now Muhammad, how he can tell his men that we will not release them, we will not kill them? How he can convince them that killing them is better than ransom? So Muhammad, he come with this verse, chapter 8, verse number 67. Which it says, It is not fitting for a prophet that he should have a prisoner of war until he has thoroughly subdued the land. We did not subdue the land yet. We cannot take them as a prisoner. What so what we do? We kill them. His men, they want to have ransom. That's why the verse saying, You look for the temporal goods of this world, the ransom. But Allah looks to hereafter. Muhammad he made this verse in order to force his men not to replace the prisoners he have with ransom and to kill them and to slaughter them immediately. Erdogan, he don't want ransom. If he can get his hand in Golan and kill him immediately, he would do it immediately. Ransom is for someone is not important. 
and it make more benefit for him to release him and get money but if you are a person who he afraid of then there is no way for ransom you should be slaughtered all middle eastern government they kidnap yesterday we just made a video right if you remember i don't know how many of you watch it about the iranian regime planning to kidnap and slaughter many members of the oppositions of iran the islamic government of iran inside france if you did not watch the video go watch it and nothing this is nothing new it's happening every day and you can be a victim of it a person like me who attack all those garbage people i might be kidnapped they put me in a box send me in a box in the saudi embassy or iranian embassy and by the help of your stupid government because they don't they have a law is not to investigate or even not to scan or not even to open any box going through the airport as long it has the stamp of the embassy of saudi arabia or iran or iraq or kuwait or emirat you name it so now this guy khashiqji he entered into the embassy of saudi arabia and supposedly he is doing let us say there's some papers he need to sign he's getting married from a turkish woman this is his wife number eight i think and he need to get a paper from the government of saudi arabia that he don't did not exceed the limit of how many wives he have because you know as muslims they have the they have the right to marry four as maximum so he want to get the uh, the paper it says that this guy he still have one vacancy at least which means he have a three and he have one vacancy for the new model in the bed in the bedroom so now if you are a person who is or outspoken person a person who speak against government or religion or etc and something happened to you like this what you would do if you are a person who belong to those any of those countries which run by criminals what you should do the first mistake this guy he did he entered the embassy he should do whatever he can to avoid going inside why you go inside the second you enter inside an embassy of any country you are out of that country as an example if i am in usa and i am a citizen in usa if I enter into the Saudi embassy, I am inside Saudi land, literally. And my government have no authority to get me out. As an example, uh, what his name, the guy, his name uh, Assange, the guy, the, the, the president of uh, Wicca, Wicca League, he get inside one of the American Latin embassy and USA cannot get him out. And England cannot get him out. They cannot get him out. He says inside the embassy. That's it. He can stay there for 20 years. They can't arrest him. That is one of the stupid law is exist in the world today. That an embassy have the benefit of not to be investigated. They can do all kind of a crime activities and nobody can even question them. They can kidnap you, they can kidnap your wife, they can rape you, they can kill you, and you cannot take them to court. Unless they did it like outside in the street and being stupid. And America for sure will never ask any embassy in the world to, uh, or they will not ask the United Nations to change this rule. Because the most people who use this policy of kidnapping is Western countries. But Western countries usually, they did not kidnap someone like Christian Prince. They kidnap a terrorist from Somalia, as an example. They ship him in a box. They ship him to Guantanamo, in Obey. They ship him to, to Emirat. 
they ship him to Kuwait. You know, they put him in a box and they ship him. Everybody is shipping everybody. And we think that we are in the world of civil line, civilization. Everybody is civil. That is a joke. That's not true. Any government, they, if they wish, they can ship you free shipping and handling, and nobody will know about you. And if you ask, imagine if the CIA, you know, arrested anyone. Where you are going to ask for him? Where, where, where is the center of the CIA? I'm going to ask the CIA, where is this guy? They will, they will deny that they arrested him. They will say, we never heard of him. What do you mean you never heard of him? The two members from the CIA came. I was there. Am I with them? We don't know. This, those are false two members. We don't know. It's not us for sure, not us. So not only Islamic countries, they practice this, even those who claim to be civil countries. It is the dark side of states, which nobody want to talk about. They can kidnap anyone. They can kill anyone. They can assassinate anyone. And no one will know about it. No, they do not need to ship him an envelope. They can put you in a box legally. Nobody can open the box. Don't you know that? All diplomatic goods, anything have to do with the embassy, you are not allowed to check it out. If you check it out, you, are, you, are, you will be in trouble, and they will do the same to you to your embassy in the other country. So now, if... Uh, if the if the uh, ambassador of Saudi Arabia he like an American girl, hmm? he see her in the street. He see uh, see someone you know she is she have a beautiful body etc. He like to rape her. He can grab her, put her in the car, and he can ship her to his house or ship her to the prince in Saudi Arabia. Who is going to stop them? Actually, you go on YouTube right now. You will see how many cases people they have reported the crimes of royal family from Saudi Arabia, from Emirates, from Bahrain, from Qatar, and they were able to escape and nobody was able to do anything against them. Not long time ago, any Saudi student, he entered into USA, he come inside USA with a diplomatic visa, you believe it? An idiot, he is 18 years old kid. He entered USA to study English, yet he have a diplomatic visa. All students from Saudi Arabia used to have diplomatic visa, which means if this is a student, he rape your sister, the police cannot, ar cannot arrest him. If he, if he have an accident, they cannot arrest him. Whatever he do, then nobody can arrest him. He's above the law. And that changed after George Bush, he came. Before all Saudi, they come to USA with diplomatic visa. This is how garbage your government was. And this is how you garbage your government still. Because until now, they treat the Saudi differently from all other nationality. After all what happened from them, 19 hijackers, 17 of them are Saudi. And still, they favor them to come to USA. And what make it more horrible that now the Islamic nations are using the Israeli technology to spy on you. As an example, what is the favorite software Muslim countries they use to trace you? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? What is their favorite software? And made in where? If I tell you, you will not believe it. Their favorite software is made in Israel. To spy at anyone in the world, they use this software 
which is called NSO. This is just one day ago. Report Saudi Arabia used Israeli cyber weapons to target descendant in Canada, USA, etc. Software made in Israel. How the software ended with the Saudi? Anybody can tell me? And this is a story, an example, not necessarily the only one. Reports Saudi Arabia used Israeli cyber weapon to target descendant in Canada. So the, the poor guy is in Canada, he thinks he's safe. The Saudi guy, he went to Canada, he thinks he's safe. He's a refugee running for his life. He's 27 years old. He ran away to Canada. Canada gave him asylum. By this software, they can open your camera in your phone. They can hear every word you say. They can grab all the text you have. They can grab all the pictures you do, receive or you send or you take for yourself. Full control of your phone. And this software is covering all those areas. I mean, do you feel good? <laughs> oh boy. And look at the look at this software customers. I don't know if you can see the map clear in front of you. Do you see the customers? I mean, don't you feel safe, my friend? Don't you feel that you live in a democratic country if you live in USA and Canada? Yeah, right. This company have officially, legally, customers who use their software to spy at you. I mean, how in the world that can be legal? I don't know if you can see here with me. It shows you the guideline of the map. Let me see if it's coming to you right. Do you see it? This is the guideline of the map. I mean, isn't it amazing? I feel really safe in USA. No, it's not Israel control the world. You know, you see, the, this is a company. This is a this is a business. This is not the this is not the Mossad. This is a private company who own the software. And obviously, intelligent department from around the world they buy their software. They don't own it. Nobody can own the software. It's used still through this company, which means you have to be a client to give you an access. You cannot, it's not a software you take it and you download on your computer, no. It looks like it's running through the, the servers of this company and the company give you an access to use their software in their computer from distance. So if they want to spy at you, all what they need to do or to know is to get your phone number and that's it. The rest is granted. This software will allow them to have full access to your phone. All the private text you have with your friends, with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your mom, with your dad, all the pictures you have sent to yourself, some people sent to you, all the conversation, audio conversation, video conversation, it is recorded and sent automatically to the agency which is spying at you. And that for sure they will help them in order to kidnap you. Because if you now, if you text your friend saying, okay, I'm leaving the house right now, they knew exactly when you are leaving the house. If you receive a phone call 
saying to your friends i'm going to meet etc et with you at etc place etc time they knew exactly where you're going they, they do not need even to put somebody inside the house they have your phone which is the best way to spy at anyone Today, you know, you have to be very, very aware of things happening around you. You think you think you live in a civil country, you think you live in Europe, you think you live actually those who live in Europe, they are very much, very much exposed to kidnapping and such a such an uh, uh, such a thing. The leader of the Kurdish, he was kidnapped Ojalan. Who was you know he was kidnapped in Europe and shipped to Turkey and now he is serving for more than 20 years there in jail I wanted to make this video today to make people aware that what's happening around us is really scary is not what people think that's okay you see you are safe as long you are no one you are safe as long you are a person who is involved in eating your sandwich eating hamburger drinking some tea farting some gas and going to bed and sleep then nobody will kidnap you but if you are a person who speak out and you say things you say your mind you are an active person who defend something you stand for something then you should be aware of danger is around you. And the more you grow bigger, the more you are in danger. Yeah, well, Trump now today is being a hypocrite. He is a threat in China to put more sanctions because they are not being fair to the Muslims. I mean, look at the look at this uh, garbage talk. It's an excuse. It's an excuse. Have two sides. One, he will make himself like he is the one who is defending the Muslims, and the other one, he is going to put sanctions anyway. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in the news. And how how come Trump he did not make he will not make sanctions for destroying churches in in China? Why he want to defend the Muslims only? For he you know this is a politics. Trump is just a hypocrite. The same as the rest. Well, why Trump don't ask China to stop destroying churches? What the, the Christian in China are not worthy of defense? But no, you know for him. He, is, he will make himself look like as if he is defending the Muslim, but the fact he is going to put sanctions in, in China for regardless of what the reason, the real reason behind it, because he have, you know, economy agenda, and they will, he will not find more reasons to put sanctions. China is not scared of anyone, but at the end of the day, Chinese, they want to make business. This is what the only thing they care for. Otherwise, they are scared. But at the end, China have to come to, a, to, to an agreement with the USA regarding business deal. And this is what Trump is trying to do. He want to force them to come to an agreement. And they will do. At the end of the day, nobody, nobody would like to have, doesn't matter how big they are, to have sanctions by USA. Because still USA is a major force in the economy of this world. So China and Russia, they are very big, they are very powerful, yes, but still they care for that will have an impact on them. But anyway, I wanted to share this video with you today. And the purpose is that you all should be aware. Like, you know, when you download those uh, applications in the internet to make pictures, filters, you don't know what you are downloading. Those spy agencies, they don't post their software to spy at you and say, hey, we will spy at you. They will design a software which you think it is just made for fun. Someone he like to have a filter for pictures. Someone like to have a, 
funny uh, cartoon for his picture so the download you go to Google store and you download and you start downloading and downloading and one day you find that all everything you have is gone it's gone to somebody else because you decide to be stupid you decide just to risk your phone to risk whatever information you have there and give it to someone you do not know by downloading those softwares which you do not even need you are risking yourself to be exposed to people who might even they want to do a harm for you you see they are spying at you it doesn't matter what you do Google the Google now he the, the Google have access to your emails if you have a if you buy a ticket the Google knows about it Google know when you are going to fly at what time you will fly if the fly is a de delay or not Google knows what you eat. Google knows what you are looking for. Google know now if you are looking for sex, Google, Google knows about it. So it's not enough you are exposed to Google, the biggest monster, yet you want to download more softwares in your computer and your phone and for a very silly reason. So more more people, they will get access to you. And as you see, they have softwares and those softwares, they are very powerful extremely powerful this is why i advise you not even to share your phone number with someone you do not trust don't give your phone number to everybody you go on your sign in facebook and you use your phone to sign in all the contact in your phone is already swallowed by facebook immediately never sign into facebook with your phone or twitter or any other program they steal legally your contact all the information you have did you ask yourself how sometime in Facebook suddenly your cousin appear there I mean how 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 Facebook they knew that this is your cousin you never spoke to him in the in Facebook Be careful, my friend. The world is very evil, and the evil is growing. And everybody, he do evil for his own reason. Some, they want to make do evil for you, to scam you, to get your money, to steal your bank account. Some, they just to blackmail you, to steal a picture of you. Uh, uh, some, because they are government, they want to harm you in a certain way. Maybe you are a person who said something, did something, write something they do look at the scam is happening right now in usa a guy he is going to be a judge in the supreme court suddenly a bunch of women accuse him of a sexual abuse where, where those women they've been for the last 36 years he was a judge it was okay to be a judge before for 36 years he was okay to be a judge and they have no problem with it and today they remember that this guy he was trying to do sexual abuse Today it's important that one day he throw ice at somebody. You see, the world is evil. Even those who claim to be good, the one who call them senators, they are a bunch of a scumbag. For the purpose of their political agenda, they are willing to go over you by their truck. Who care if you are a victim? Who care? Let, let go, go to hell. They don't care. What they care for is how to be in the business how to take over a chair, how to win the election. I'm glad that Aisha, she did not contact the Democrat accusing this guy that he was trying to, to, to look at her when she was six years old. And I'm glad that Aisha should not say at that time he called himself Muhammad. And that was 14 centuries ago. He came to her when she was six years old and he changed his name in the purpose of deception. She asked him, what's your name? He said, Muhammad. And he told her he's a prophet. It's not Democrats are losers. All of them, they are losers. All of them, they are a scam. You see, 
most of Western they go only by TV. They are emotional. They don't see what's happening. What about this guy Lindsey Graham, Graham, whatever his name? This guy yesterday he was calling Trump all kind of names. Today he is supporting Trump. Why? Yesterday him and John McCain they were biting Trump. What happened? Scam, business deal. Do this for me. I do this for you. Today he noticed that Trump he is a winner, so he cannot stand against him forever. He he, he will lose the coming election. So now he suddenly he is a sponsor in Trump. When tsunami come, you don't stand in front of the wave. The wave will take you down. So he go in his belly in front of Trump. This is what's happened. All of them they are scammers. All of them they are false. Go and see after Trump when he was election elected, how many Republican they stood against him. Go and see, all of them. The whole party they want him. They weren't even expecting him to win, because this party is not Republican. Those are Democrat too. You see, it's one coin have two faces, and they are in agreement with the business. This chair sometime for you, sometime for me. This is how it is. And whoever take over it is going to be the rich, the businessman, the one who will suck your blood. They fool you. They say to you, we are going to cut your tax. We are going to give you health insurance just to make you vote. And you go and you vote and you find the health insurance is nothing but the garbage. They will charge you. They force you to buy it every year and they charge you $450 for a person. How you can afford it? Every month, a poor guy who work he make three thousand dollars a month. How he can pay four hundred fifty or six hundred dollars every month for 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 health insurance? In the election, they told you we will give every citizen health insurance. You think like we get it for free? Yeah, right. By doing that, they just made the insurance company made trillions of dollars not only billions this is was a deal was made for the benefit of insurance companies as simple as that the insurance companies they bid obama a lot of money to do this to, to make to force everybody to buy from them that's it you have no choice and the naive american they think obama is the one who think for them he's going to give them health insurance he gave you nothing he stole your money Same as Joe bite me. You remember Joe bite me? They call him Joe Biden. He won't go in TV and he stop promoting the, 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 the flu, the bird flu and the pig flu. And if I am you, I will not fly in the airplane or go in the, in the train. And every stupid American start buying flu vaccine. It's a business. And then we find that there's no flu and there's nothing. After all this talk about the flu, maybe two or three, they, they, they die from the flu. In a country, have more than 300 million. But if you, if you are exist at that time, listen to the news, you will think that everybody is going to die tomorrow. So everybody go and buy the flu. And the flu vaccine is 50, 60 dollars. Billions of dollars. It's a scam. It's a government scam. They publish in the newspaper that Obama, the socialist, he charged many businessmen around the world $500,000 for every selfie they take with him. I mean, do you see how nice it is to be a president? $500,000 just to take a picture with him. The scumbag Billy Clinton, he can come and attend your wedding party if you send him a check of $60,000. You see how cheap? Hillary Clinton and Billy Clinton, they attended hundreds of wedding parties in the Middle East of people they never met, they never saw before. Why? Because they sent them a check to come. Invitation, Mr. President. A check donation, Mr. President. Donation. Suppose it's donation, you know. Donation, Mr. President. 60,000 is the average and you can give more. And the more you give, the longer the speech Billy Clinton will make about you and your wedding. 
and yet they want to convince you that they are presidents those are not president those are scumbag how cheap it is that you are a person who used to be a president for USA yet you go and attend the party just because somebody paid you sixty thousand dollar even if he's a drug dealer We have a corrupt system. We have a corrupt, you know, businessman taking over you, George Soros and his gang, Hillary Clinton and her gang. The Arab prince and princes and their gangs. The lobbyist, you know, they say to you that lobbyist, the lobbyist, well, but people do not know that all the world have lobbyists in USA. In the Saudi have lobbyists, Emirat have lobbyists, the Israeli have lobbyists, everybody have lobbyists except me and you. We are the one who have nobody. I voted for Trump. I will vote for him again because he is the best of the choices we have, not because he's the best. We have no choice. People, they think that they are really free. At the end of the day, there's no free and there's no freedom. They say to you, you are free to say whatever you want. If you say something against the gays, they will make a case against you. If a person, like let's say, you know, Hitler was a bad person. What if somebody, he liked Hitler? What if he liked him? Can he say that in France? No, he go to jail. Why? I am against Hitler. He is a criminal. But why you speak that you are a person who give a freedom of a speech? But yes, if somebody he speaks something you don't like, you put him in jail. Why they are making a law that if somebody speak against the faith of Islam, they will put him in jail? Why somebody like Robinson? What his name? This guy. He was arrested and he is now in jail in England. Why he's arrested? What he did? Just for exp expressing his mind. As simple as that, and they say to you, This is England, this is not Saddam Hussein country, this is Saddam Hussein. The guy he did nothing wrong, he just spoke his mind. He did not attack anyone, he did not do you use violence, he did not carry a knife, he did not carry a gun, he did not shoot at anybody, he did not harm anyone. Why he's in jail? And I will tell you why because people don't care you see if the British people really they are people who care for their future they should go and gather by hundreds of thousands in the street when they arrested this guy but look they left him alone they left him alone and maybe now he's jailed with the Muslims so they can force him to convert to Islam or maybe he will die or maybe they will assassinate him where is the British people how how in the world this is can happen in England. Nobody care, my friend. If they care, they will go by hundreds of thousands of people. You know, go and see they march for stupid things in England. They march for stupid things in France. The ambassador of England yesterday he was marching in which country? I forgot. There, there is a there is a march for the gays. I mean, it, I think it's in South America. Yeah, the ambassador of England. I mean, he's busy. He need to march with the gays. I mean, what's why you want to march with the gays? What does that mean? What exactly that is for? And why the gays are marching anyway? What exactly that mean? You know, what gay is marching? What is that? What about we to do tomorrow? We make a march of people who they are not gays. That's stupid. What does it have to do? I mean, what 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 people want? Everything is upside down. Everything is sick. And they are busy 
They want to change the bathroom. The bathroom, you know, your daughter, she want to go to the bathroom, you find a guy. Why? Because in California, they believe that this is discrimination to make a bathroom for girls and bathroom for men. Like, what's wrong with you? Those people, they have nothing in their head. They're trying to find something to keep themselves busy. Sometimes they want to take the Bible from the hotels. Look, okay, if you go to a hotel, you can tell them I don't want the Bible there. They will take it from you. They want to take a cross in a private land. Why you want to take the cross? A status for somebody who used to own slaves, but everybody used to own slaves in that time. What about we take down the status of the Pharaoh? So if a person who used to own slaves, we take his status down. This is history. Should we go and destroy the status of the Pharaoh? Do you know how many slaves he used to own? What about we ban the name of Muhammad from, 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 from Europe because he's a, he's, he was a slave business dealer? Everything is upside down. Liberals, you know, there is something I like about what you know, Trump, he said. One of the things I like about him, because he said things as it is, he said this is the party of the criminals or the party of the crimes. This is true. In those liberals, socialists, crimes are good. Good is a crime. And what is making them really go crazy, that this guy Trump, how he won the election, they cannot understand. This guy is not part of any lobbyist, is not part of any mafia, is not part of any of their garbage. How he won? And he is a womanizer. He was a bi guy, obviously. You know, he's a billionaire all his life since he was a kid. So you can imagine what kind of life he used to have. So it's very normal to be, you know, have a lot of women around him. Right now, imagine you win. Imagine you win three hundred million dollars lotto. The cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the cousins who never said hi to you, they will become relative again. The women who never say hi to you, she will see you the most handsome person in the world. I mean, this is normal. Imagine you are very rich, very wealthy. The one who think you are a monkey, he will call you sir. Why when you go to a five stars hotel, somebody call you sir and he opened the door for you? Did you ask yourself why? Because by entering that door, obviously you are a wealthy person. So you deserve to be called sir. What if I come in the same door, I'm wearing a homeless clothes. The security, they will grab me and throw me in the middle of the road. So this man, he won the election. Those socialists, they went crazy. Their, their news, it was fake news. They told him 97% is the percentage of Hillary to win, 97%. 97, that's what they told him. Me, myself, in the day of the election, if you remember, I went to sleep early. I don't want to see this garbage. I don't want to see this idiot Hillary. I, actually, I was thinking to... Uh, to go and uh, uh, maybe move to a different country until this woman she she leave. I mean, I'm, I'm sick of Obama for eight years. Another eight years of Hillary Clinton, sixteen years of those filthy Democrats. Thanks God, they did not win again. And this coming election in no November six. You know, the 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 socialists trying to they will, they will do their best to take over again. And George Soros is going to pump a lot of money in the street to make everybody go and vote, trying to take back what they think is their own, the senators and the Congress. And I hope that will not happen, because if they were able to take the Senate and the Congress, then Trump he became just a president by name. 
he can accomplish nothing and this is the whole idea of trying to stop this judge from going in the Supreme Court because if he is in the Supreme Court that's it the majority of the Supreme Court is going to be conservative for the coming God knows when maybe 40 years from now until one of them die or he retired or he quit this why I will be uh, I will encourage everybody to go and vote in this coming November for Republican regardless who they are the Republican I mean we have no choice we have two parties we have two parties was one is full of mules and one is full of donkeys so you choose what you want you want one will kick you in your balls and the other one will kick you in your belly but both of them they will kick you anyway I mean imagine John McCain was a senator what a scumbag this guy is a terrorist sponsor he should be taken to court he should be he should be in jail if I take a picture with those terrorists in Syria Christian Prince will be arrested second day by the FBI but John McCain he can do it and yet they call him Republican not everybody in the Republican Party is Republican you need to know that there's many rats inside this Republican Party this is why when you vote for Republican you have to be careful about you are voting for who check their history check they vote for who before they vote against who for who check the history anyway guys I think we cover the issues we wanted to cover for today uh, we will try today is Wednesday so tomorrow I will not do podcast but most likely we will do it again in Friday evening so I want to say thank you all for being here uh, before I finish somebody says you are too much against Netanyahu I'm not against Netanyahu as a person I don't know him somebody told you I used to be in with him in school but obviously this guy is a corrupt man and very easy to prove go and check his history how many times until now the police investigate him and his wife Netanyahu he opened a hospital for Al-Qaeda and his borders I mean is that enough for me to go against him or not do you think taking side with the Muslim Mujahideen Al-Qaeda who they are killing Christians in Syria is a wrong decision or good decision or many of you are blindly we support Israel doesn't matter what they do how Israel support Al-Qaeda you tell me how you are fighting them in Gaza and you are supporting them in Syria how we fight Hamas in Gaza and we aid Hamas in Syria and you are telling me that Netanyahu is not a corrupt man so some of you because they sponsor Israel it doesn't matter what Israel do that's wrong don't sponsor anyone for doing wrong my friend don't sponsor a Christian person when he's doing wrong too because that means you are evil like him the one who sponsor evil is evil don't take side by a, with a person take side with what he do if the Israeli are doing something right we take side with them if you ask me is the land of the Israel Israel is the land of the Jews I say yes that because this is the right side to take this is their land but doesn't mean we we support them when they sponsor Al-Qaeda that's evil don't take the side of Christian Prince take the side of what he do if what he do is right you are with him if he is not don't, don't support him this is what a Christian person should do don't sponsor a name sponsor what they do Jesus said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names many of you sponsor the name not what he do 
and that will make that person go spoiled and will do wrong because he is out of a questioning they sponsor me anyway I hope we cover everything for today may the Lord bless you all and enter we see you again maybe this coming Friday Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon again take care and God bless bye bye